Okay guys, a Komodo Crypto here. So, picking up from where we left yesterday, uh, here we are, right? We're tracing this whole downtrend here, which I labeled 1, 2, 3. Then we need to retrace for our A4, and then 5, okay? So, um, let's see what's happening here, right? We are now, before that, uh, we are now 369 days in this correction, right? And what is pretty interesting is that, one sec, we are now reacting upon touching this 200 EMA. Now is the 200 EMA that is that is uh, acting as a resistance. Are we gonna break through it, or are we gonna retrace a little bit and then break through it? Okay, because upon upon touching the 200 standard moving average, we had a reaction, the correction of this wave here, and now we are touching the two, the, the area, the region of the 200 EMA. And we are in between those two regions, right? Let's. This was the lowest. This point here is the lowest low of the year, 300, uh, 3100. And this point here now is the, is the resistance, right? 4100. So are we gonna break through it? Okay. Remember, as I said yesterday, we have this, this bearish cross here, another bearish cross much much like this one here remember when we had this cross here some weeks uh months actually this happened in uh, in september then in november we had that uh crazy dump right which is our wave c the way that i'm counting it here is that we are now uh, correcting this third wave we have finished this third wave i remember that i pro uh, that i proposed the ending diagonal yesterday right and i said perhaps we are in, a, in the end of the correction right i don't know okay this if you think about this one two three four five this might be the ending diagonal then it would have something like this we need this is phoenix so we need to break the level we need to break this strong resistance here guys which which were the support of the whole year we will need to break because this is going to be a strong resistance this is 5700 in on phoenix and um this is this is the level of uh, 60 uh, 5700 on bitstamp okay so uh here I have the same thing. I have the ending diagonal, but I am finishing the third wave. So this would be uh, uh, the bearish case, right? The other one, it's it's quite simple actually, because we, we can either interpret this as an ending diagonal finishing the whole correction and then we would go up, or this is the, the, the end diagonal finishing the third wave. We have one leg yet to correct, okay? And uh just pulling the fib retracement here we have some targets so let's me remove it get our fib retracement from f from the wave two to the wave three a really shallow wave two almost inex inexistent yes uh, i i understand that then it would have a complex wave four so it's <laughs> it's not a surprise so this would be our, our, if this is indeed a fourth wave, okay, we might retrace to those levels here. We have here, uh, the, this is the, the, the region of wave one. So we might retrace to this level here. This would be 500, okay? This would be 5,200, okay? And then we might go down. So. I am making the case here that we have an A, then I'm gonna, now we are going to test this region again and then we are going to have a C, okay? A good place for our a, wave A, uh, our wave B, sorry, would be 50%. So then here we have it. This is roughly 30, 3600, if we get there, if we are indeed correcting. 
if you are still correcting okay that's it this is the green line here we would have a B and then we would go up to finish this fourth wave here and we would have a C let's use our fib extension to see if it works to see where it would get us actually you see that the C don't need to get to the to the f first wave area this is the 100 one, one to one extension and this is the 127 20 percent so if we have a C here we would get to this resistance uh, which I marked here in red and this would be 4700 we have this yellow line here which act as a support back then I marked but now it's a resistance so it would test again this level of 4700 this would be 100 percent one to one extension if we go if we retrace to this 50 percent here and if this a wave is finished okay this would be the 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 abc correction this correct uh this correction being the correction that is correcting this whole structure here this the from this point here to the the second wave to the third wave okay the same thing is in the daily chart is is apparent in the daily chart okay this level here okay yesterday i was a bit confused that i said that it would invalidate but i was uh, honestly confusing a little bit the my my own chart so pardon me about it um it's it's okay we we can retrace at least to this level if uh, not at least but uh to this level of 5200 and it won't invalidate this one two three four five but if we cross this 6200 obviously we, we are not in a correction we, we would make the case that this oops not this one this any diagonal here would be something more like this finishing here the correction and then it would go up so uh, only time is gonna tell us for the moment i'm trading this uh structure here a, a lot of charts sorry um this chart here i am trading considering that we finished five waves up if we finish five wave, five waves up i am shorting i am in a short position shorting bitcoin and waiting and, and, and expecting at least 50 percent okay then i'm gonna go long to get this c wave if it's not the case guys if it's now let's reconsider it now let's imagine that we have indeed finished the correction here at this green line this was the low this was the bottom so then i have another count we might have something like this going on it's not impossible sorry this is on phoenix but uh, the prices might not be uh, the same as that you have there but it's the same thing we have the the, the any diagonal here this would be the fifth wave finishing here and then we would have a one two one two what's gonna tell us is the level that this is going to that this is going to 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 go if this just go as high as six two hundred as i said if we have this whole structure here going up then obviously this is gonna be a this is not a correction okay and i am proposing here that we might see some some uh, really bullish structure like this one it's not impossible it's forming this pitchfork this is a normal pitchfork and we have this one two one two so now i am considered that if we are if you are counting this as a one two one two we are in the first wave inside of this third wave okay this third wave that's gonna finish the first wave the 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 the, the highest degree here of this uh, impulse wave third wave so we, we are in a higher count here if we if we if you want to make a bullish case it's possible okay i'm marking here in red where we would get at the end of this whole third wave okay and uh, <clears throat> yes it's possible in elliot in in the in the elliot wave principle to have different ways of interpreting the chart the ways that we are gonna discuss and 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 um and it's gonna be like a, a, a matter of discussion we might have a one two one two and then one two three four five finishing this third 
retracing to the fourth, then going up to finish this, the third of this first wave one, two here, that form this pitchfork, okay? Only time is gonna tell, because it's almost the same. If you have this, this is a one, this is a A, and a B, and a C, okay? That's the problem. The market is always gonna be confusing and it's not gonna be clear because that's how we, if we are not sure, it, the market doesn't offer certainties to us. We are just working with probabilities. And we might have a, a fourth wave here correcting or the shape of this structure here suggests that we might just have an ending diagonal finishing the whole structure and we we won't get to those levels here, the, those lower lows, until, uh, I don't know, the next the next downward movement. Uh, then we would need to reconsider this whole count. Maybe we have an X here. We need to rearrange the count. But we are working with what we have at hand, with what the market is, is presenting to us. And what we have now is five waves going up, okay? And then we have a correction. If this is a one, and then a two, a third, a, a three going up, four, five, like we have here on Phoenix, that this chart is my bullish count. If, if we have this thing here, it's yet to be discovered. We are gonna need to see where this, this uh, I believe that this pitchfork is gonna hold the, 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 the cor this whole correction here. The, this pitchfork is gonna hold if this is bullish. If this is not bullish, What's gonna happen, guys? It's pretty simple. You just, let me just erase this uh, Fibonacci retracement here. Let me retrace, let me just show you guys. This is the level of retracement. If we have a B wave, it's from the bottom to the top of this wave. This is gonna be, the support is gonna be here, uh, 3700, okay? This is gonna be the support. We're gonna have reaction upon touching the support this is this would be our low we might go lower but we are gonna definitely break this this uh pitchfork here we are gonna be uh doing something like this perhaps going even lower it's not impossible for a b wave okay or something like this more sideways okay but something like this if this is an abc it's the same thing for a two, uh, for a second wave, but what might happen, might, is that we won't see a structure like this. We won't see a, a retracement like this. But if we are retracing from the this wave here only, okay, this wave here, guys. You see, this is a one, two, then and only then we are gonna retrace to those levels here. This is a uh for 4100 this is uh 400 uh, 4000 sorry and this is 618 3950 it we won't get to this level here because this would invalidate this as a one are you following me guys this is a one if if we get to this green level if we get to the below 3800 actually right no no actually yes below 3800 below 37 uh 3780 if we get below this thing this thing we this uh, uh one two here is is gonna be is gonna get you it's gonna break this this pitchfork and then it would have a different thing then we would need to interpret interpret the, the mark showing us that we have an ABC instead of a one two three four five instead of a bullish count so this is pretty easy if we have indeed a second wave here we're gonna land the pitchfork is gonna offer a support and then we would have something like this oopsie no no uh, oh we're gonna have something like this this is a one then you're gonna retrace to those levels here the pitchfork Offering support, then this is the third, fourth, and five, and fifth wave. Okay, this is different because we are gonna see that this pitchfork is gonna keep the is gonna contain the whole movement. 
otherwise if we have a correction if we are not so if you are not that bullish we are going to see that this is a wave one like here this is our this is this is a wave and we are going to retrace to deeper levels and we are going to break this pitchfork here that's how we are going to this is this is why it's such a crucial moment i am shorting because it doesn't matter it must somehow get to a, a a lower level in order to go to continue going up if this is a b or a second wave of the third is yet to be determined it's yet to be seen either way we're gonna need to we're gonna get to some of those targets here okay or this green target here if we have a b 3700 this is on phoenix okay um so this is the the level that we that, let me just show you that this is the daily so this is the level of the fourth wave if we are to have here a correction and this is not the end of the the the, the, the thing such as this would be 4400 would be the would be the wave c and b would get you 37 right 3700 3750 okay this is more or less what i have if we have a correction if this is a corrective movement movement otherwise we're gonna see a, a, a second wave here then a third a fourth and a fifth wave in we are, eventually we're gonna break this 6k okay and that's it i think that's a really good it's a it's an amazing moment now because the market is, is of course waiting because the same questions that I'm raising here, the, the market is of course might not stop here and just have another leg up, another leg up. So imagine the market doesn't need to respect uh, the, 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 the Elliott wave theory. The market doesn't need to, to of course not. It totally disregard the, the theories that we have but we are trying to figure out together what's going on and this is a this is likely and this is likely an abc a correction this fourth wave and then we would have these targets here it's 2700 and uh, 2100 okay we would go lower okay yet to be decided we can't just uh ignore the fact that we have a, a, a diagonal shape here and it's not breaking any rules. The fourth wave has retraced almost to the region of this first wave, which is a characteristic of the of diagonals. So uh, we need to, to wait now and trade accordingly. Remember that we might have a one two one two, and then we would have a bullish momentum and, and a bullish count here, as I'm proposing. We won't break the pitchfork. That's what we need to understand here okay so um thank you very much you guys if you want anything if you want to suggest me something you have the the comments below leave me a comment and if you want to join us in our crypto trader educational institute the link in is in the description and if you haven't followed me on social media you have my twitter handle here and give me a thumbs up if you like my content and subscribe I, I, I always enjoy to provide you guys information and to be here. So thank you very much. I see you guys later. Cheers.